Do you want to build a responsive and high-performing website but don't want to have to worry about connecting a domain or paying expensive monthly web hosting and having to worry about technical issues and problems that may arise as your business grows? Well, if this sounds like you, then a one-stop website builder like WordPress.com might just be perfect for your business. Now, as a business owner with a million of other things to have to worry about, Building, launching, and managing a website should be a breeze. And with WordPress.com, it definitely is. I've built hundreds of websites with dozens of popular website builders for small businesses, and I can safely say that WordPress is typically the most appropriate choice in terms of usability, functionality, affordability, and scalability. So today, I'm going to dive into an updated WordPress.com tutorial and share how you, as a business owner, can quickly build, launch, and manage a high-performing website with with WordPress.com. Also, no matter what type of website that you want to create, whether it's a hospitality, e-commerce, or professional service-based website, you can follow along and launch your own custom website. Okay, so with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and launch into this tutorial. Now to arrive here, simply head over to your browser and type in WordPress.com, or feel free to click on the link in the description below this video and that's gonna take you here. Also, I just wanna say a big thank you to WordPress.com for sponsoring this video and supporting our channel. Now, before we start creating your website with WordPress, we first want to answer the question of what is WordPress and who is it for? Well, most likely you've heard of the name WordPress. This is because over 40% of the total websites online are built with WordPress. In short, WordPress.com is an all-inclusive website builder with managed hosting, meaning that most technical aspects of building and managing a website are taken care of for you by WordPress.com. Therefore, for this website builder is ideal for individuals and small business owners looking to quickly and securely launch their website online. Although in saying that, WordPress grows with you and is also suitable for large enterprise, so you're not limited as your business grows. Okay, so now that we understand what WordPress.com is, let's go ahead and get started. Then simply choose the method that you want to use to create your WordPress account. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and sign up with Google. Then once you've signed up, you'll be taken here. This is where we can connect a domain with our website. If you currently do not have a domain for your website, then add your business name or brand in here. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm building a jewelry consulting business called Gould & Garrett. Now, once you've added your brand or business name, simply navigate down the page and you can see the different domain options. For us, you can see that this domain name is available, so I'm actually going to use this gouldandgarrett.com domain. Again, these are all the different TLDs that we can use. And the TLD, top level domain, is this bit at the end of your domain. For example, example, gouldandgarrett.me, dot photos, dot design, dot rocks, family, and more down here. However, because my business operates globally online, I'm going to use this domain here, gouldandgarrett.com. Now, if your domain is already taken, then you will have to add a variation. And for those that already have an existing domain name and want to connect that domain with their WordPress website, then simply come down here and click on this option. Now, if you're interested in learning more about how you can choose the right domain name for your business, then I'll add the appropriate tutorial down below in the description. Okay, so once you've found the domain that you want to use, go ahead and click on select. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm going to build a WordPress website using the business plan. Now, if you choose an all-inclusive premium WordPress plan, which I'll cover shortly, you will get your domain for free for the first year. So let's go ahead and click on continue. And that's gonna take us to these premium plans. And today we'll be using the business plan, which has everything that you need to successfully run your website online. This includes installing plugins and themes, top level and high speed web hosting and security, automated WordPress updates, and you can also list and sell products online. And you also have access to priority 24 seven support. Now you also have the option to get started with the free limited plan, or maybe you want to begin small and get started with personal or premium. This is completely up to you. However, for most small and medium sized businesses, we typically recommend the business plan. Okay, so go ahead, choose your plan. And if you chose a premium plan, simply navigate through the checkout process and I'll meet you inside your WordPress account. Now, once you've completed the checkout, you'll be taken here where you have the option to add a professional business email. And this is using an integrated platform called Titan. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Titan and how you can simply set up professional business emails for your business, then I will add the appropriate tutorial down below for you to check out. However, for now, I'm going to navigate over here and click on skip for now. We want to build our own website, so I'm going to select here. 
And to make our website building experience a breeze, go ahead and click on choose a theme. Here you can navigate through the different theme categories and simply choose a theme that you like the look of. Okay, so for me, I like the look of this elegant theme. Take the time to navigate through all the different pages and preview the pages across devices. Let's go ahead and navigate back up to the top and you can preview the theme with these default different styles. And you can always customize these at any point. Okay, so once you're happy with a theme, go ahead and click on continue. Here we want to give our site a name, add your business name under site name, and then your business tagline if you have one. Then navigate down to continue. Then back inside this interface, we have two options. We can quickly create our first post, edit site design, and then launch our website. But what we want to do is dive into the back end of our WordPress dashboard and understand how we can make the most of WordPress.com. Simply navigate up to skip for now, and that's going to take us to our WordPress.com dashboard. Now, just quickly, you might be wondering what is the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org? Well, there is an important difference between these two. Basically, WordPress.com offers all-inclusive managed hosting, as I mentioned earlier. However, WordPress.org is self-managed, meaning you have to take care of all aspects of running and managing your site, such as connecting a domain, choosing a web host, and managing all technical hurdles that you face. Both WordPress.com and WordPress.org have the same WordPress WordPress technology. The main difference is how the website is hosted. Now, if you want to learn more about the difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com, then I'll add more information down below in the description. Okay, so let's cover important elements inside your WordPress dashboard. On the left hand side, we have stats. This is where you can see your website's performance. Then we have your upgrades and mailboxes. And this is where you can connect your professional business email. If we navigate down to posts, this is where you can simply create blog posts for your website. This essentially allows you to create content on your website, which helps you with SEO, search engine optimization. And we'll talk more about creating posts shortly. Then navigate down to media. This is where you can see all your uploaded media. And then we have pages, click here. This is where we can create and manage all our pages. And I'll show you how to add and customize your website pages shortly. Now we need to talk about plugins. And as you can see, we already have WooCommerce and Jetpack installed. Let's click on Jetpack. And Jetpack is a plugin that helps you with many things, including features for security, growth, site management, site performance, and speed. This is where you can also back up your website. And again, below Jetpack, we have the WooCommerce plugin. Essentially, if you want to start selling products on your WordPress.com website, then this WooCommerce plugin is for you. It allows you to set up an online store and start listing and selling your products online. Again, I'll talk more about this shortly. Then below this, we have other settings like appearance. Here you can customize the overall look of your website as well as manage and change themes. Then down here we have plugins. Like I mentioned, we already have two plugins installed. If we click on plugins, here you can simply install paid or free plugins. Think about plugins as tools or features that you can add to your website. For example, Yoast SEO helps with website SEO, search engine optimization, and allows you to optimize your website for search engines like Google Search to drive more traffic. If you sell digital products, you can install easy digital downloads, which allows you to upload and sell digital products on your WordPress website. Elementor is a popular plugin that enables you to visually build your website from the front end. Again, this is a very popular drag and drop page builder for WordPress. And there are thousands of plugins that you can leverage. Now let's go ahead and look at our website. Simply navigate up to the top left hand corner and click on your website. And here we can preview what our website looks like. Okay, so let's first go ahead and add some more website pages. If we navigate up here, you can see we only have the About Us page. Navigate down to Pages, and you can see we have the Home page and About page. Let's navigate across to Add New Page, and here we have the option to choose a template page, or we can create a blank page. We want to build a page from a template, so I'm going to click on Services, and I want to create a Services page. I like the look of this. Then come down and close this. And this is where we can start customizing this specific page. Simply make changes to the content by clicking on each of the different blocks. You can see that this is an image block. We have another image block here. This is a paragraph block. Then we have a heading block. If we navigate further down the page, we have a button block here. Okay, so for now, let's navigate up to save draft. So if you make any changes on your website page, simply click on save. For now, I actually want to publish this page because I want to add this page to my website menu. Now, don't worry, our website is not live online. Only you can see these published pages until you launch your website. Okay, so let's click publish and then publish again. Come down and view the page if you like. 
and that's going to take you to your services page. To edit this page again, simply navigate up to edit page or edit page up here. Now let's add a new page by clicking on page. This time let's add a contact page and again choose a template you like the look of and again alternatively you can create from scratch. I'm going to use this template page which has a map and contact form. Again before we make any changes I'm going to select save draft and then publish and publish again. And let's go ahead and view this page. And as you can see we now have a contact us page. We still need to make changes to the content and customize the page the way that we like. But for me I first want to add all those pages. Now if we navigate over to our menu you can see all those pages have been added. Close the menu and for me I'm going to quickly add a few more pages and then meet you back here. So take your time to add all the pages that you want on your website. Don't worry about customizing them, we will do that shortly. And if you're not too sure what additional pages you want to add to your website, don't worry, you don't need to add them right away. However, in the description what I'll do is add a list of pages that you might want to add to your website depending on the type of website that you run. So go ahead, check out the description if you want some ideas of the type of pages that you can create for your website. Again, I'm going to quickly add a few more pages for this particular website following the same process I just showed you. Okay, so I hope you took the time to add additional pages to your website. If I navigate up to my menu, you can see I now have five pages, about, blog posts, contact us, services, and store. Let's close out of this and head back to home. Then navigate down to Appearances and locate Customize. And this is where we can make global changes to our website. We can make changes to our website style, menu items, headers, footers, and more. Go ahead and click on Customize. And up here we have a few options, but what we want to do is use the Site Editor. First, come down to Navigation, and then click on a page, and click on Edit. And now what we can do is rearrange our menu items. For example, I want Contact Page, down below and I want my services page next to about and I'm happy with those pages. Now you'll notice my home page is not in this menu. That's because if someone wants to navigate back to my home page they just need to click this text here or the logo if you've uploaded a logo into your header. Okay so I'm happy with these changes simply come down and click on review one change and then click on save. Now let's navigate back and come down to styles and again here you can customize your different styles. Simply click on this edit icon and then navigate over to the right hand side and down here you can browse different styles, you can change the typography, colors, shadows, and the layout. Simply click on any of these options and choose the global elements that you want to change throughout your website. For example, these are regular text items. How do you want your text to appear? As well as links, headers, captions, and buttons. Okay, so I'm happy with the default, let's head back and then take your time navigating through each of these different options. Everyone's website and brand is different, so you want to take the time to customize your website style based on your preferences and website branding. Okay, let's navigate back over to the left hand side and that's gonna open up this editor again and then navigate down to pages. Again, using the editor, we can manage our pages from this interface if we like. You also have access to templates and these are all the templates that have been provided by the theme that you selected at the beginning of this tutorial. You can also create your own template to use throughout your website. Okay, let's navigate back and then we have patterns. And this is where you can manage all the different patterns that are included in your theme. Okay, so again, we're not gonna make any changes here. However, once you've made any changes, come down to review and hit save. Now let's navigate up to our primary menu up here and let's click on our logo or this text over here. And what we can do is change this text or replace it with a logo. I want to do that so I'm going to navigate down to these three dots and then click on delete. Then what I'm going to do is click here and come down and add a new block. I want to add this image block and click on upload and find your website logo. Here's the logo that I want to use and you can drag out the sides to change the sizing of that logo. I'm happy with that, then come down to alignment and hit center align. Then we also want to link our logo to our homepage. Click on link and then paste in the homepage and then click apply. Then navigate over to the right hand side of your header and this is where we want to add additional social media icons. These icons link to our social media channels. Simply click here and the plus icon and type in a social media network. For example, we have Facebook down here. Then click on that icon and simply add your Facebook page. As you can see, I've linked this Facebook page by copying and pasting the URL, then hit enter. Again, we can do the same up here. Click on add. This is going to allow you to add a new block and I'm going to search for LinkedIn. And here we have LinkedIn. Again, click on the icon and add the link to the social media page. Again, I added that link in here, then click apply. Now you can also drag and drop these blocks into different places on your page. Simply navigate up to add and search for the specific block or element that you want to add to your page. 
Now, if we navigate down to the footer, you can see we have the footer down here. We can create a footer from scratch, or we can simply navigate up to patterns and then locate footers. And here we can choose a footer we like the look of. I'm going to navigate up here. I like this simple footer here. Now, before adding this footer, I need to come down and click on the footer then click on options and hit delete. Then navigate up to the footer that you want to add and simply add that footer. Then go ahead and make your changes. Simply add your own details like your opening times, your location, phone number, and then link the correct social media channels like I showed you earlier. I'm going to change this content. I'm actually going to bold this and I'm happy with that. As you can see, we now have a simple footer. So take the time to customize your footer which appears on every page of your website. Again, you'll find your theme footer templates under patterns on the left hand side. Okay, so let's close out of this and then navigate down to our footer. I could add my logo if I liked, but I'm happy with this for now. Now let's navigate up to the top left hand corner, click here, and that's gonna take us back to this editor. Now you can see we've made some changes that need to be reviewed. I'm going to save these changes and then click on the WordPress icon again. Okay, so let's customize our website pages even further. To do that, we can navigate down to appearances and click on customize again, and you can navigate through your different pages and make those changes. We can also navigate over to pages and then click on a page that you want to customize. And that's gonna take you to the block editor. Again, simply click on any of the text, any of the blocks that you want to customize. For example, I'm going to change this header and I'm happy with that. I also have formatting options up here. I can bold, italic and add a link to my text. If I click on more, we have these other options down here. Now, if I navigate over to this AI assistant, you can also leverage AI to help you create content for your website pages. For example, I'm going to come down to this text block and then click on AI Assistant and then select Ask AI Assistant. Add a prompt related to what you want to create. And here is my quick prompt. Add an exciting introduction to our services. We provide jewelry, customization, and jewelry design. Go ahead and click on Generate. Okay, so I'm going to delete this section and you can see AI has added this content. Now what I can do is click on AI again and then select Expand. And as you can see, in just a few clicks, AI has gone ahead and expanded on my current description. So as you can see, the AI Assistant is fantastic for helping you create content on your website pages. Now let's navigate down further. Like I mentioned before, you can click on any of these different blocks and you can add your own content. For example, customize your jewelry. Let's change this, create your dream pieces. And then here, if I navigate up here, we have some image blocks. Let's go ahead and replace these images by uploading our own. I'm going to upload this and again, this image here, replace, upload, and here's the image that I want to use and also this image here. I'm going to replace with this image and then we can also resize the images if we like. Okay, so I'm happy with that. As you can see, it's incredibly easy to make changes to the template content on each of your website pages. Now, if we navigate up to the top left-hand corner, Again, you can add additional blocks if you like, headings, paragraphs, code, if you want to embed a form or something else, images, videos, as well as other media and text and audio, and more elements and blocks down here. If we navigate over to patterns, we can add specific patterns if we like, based on our theme templates. If I come down to services, you can see I have all these different options. For example, this is three columns of headings, images, and links. If I come down here, we have heading with six text sections and more down here. And that's how you can quickly build out your website pages. I'm going to close this. And again, once you've made any changes, simply click on save. Let's go ahead and preview this page and we can have a good look at our website. Again, to edit the page, simply click on edit page. And that's gonna take you back to the page editor. Now with each page, what we can also do is click on this option here, settings, and we can add a featured image if we would like to show a featured image on this page. Now, another important element is the link element here. What you can do is click here and make changes to this URL. For example, we have our domain name here and then the page URL. If you want to make changes to this, you can simply do that here. Okay, let's close out of that and head back to our dashboard. Now, as you can see, we have an online store. Now, if I wanted to add products to my website, what I can do is simply click on WooCommerce and then start a new store. Here, you need to add your business address and then click continue. What type of products do you want to sell? For me, that's physical products. How many products do you plan to display? For now, that's one to 10. And you can choose if you're currently selling elsewhere, then click on continue. And then all you need to do is start navigating through these simple steps. Now, if you want to learn more about WooCommerce and how you can sell products using WooCommerce and WordPress, I will add a dedicated tutorial up above and down below in the description for you to check out. And that's going to show you how to list your products and then add your online store to your website and start selling. Okay, so let's navigate back over to my home. 
Now, when you've completed all these steps, everything that we've just covered in this tutorial, you've chosen a domain name, you've set up your WordPress account, added your website pages and customized your website pages, then it's time to publish your website. To do that, simply navigate over to settings, click on settings and navigate down the page to privacy and then click on public and then hit save settings and your website will be live online. You can then come back to settings and you have these other options like coming soon, which is currently enabled. Your site is hidden from visitors behind a coming soon notice, or you can select private. Your site is only visible to you and logged in members you approve. However, again, before making your website public, you want to make sure that you've spent the time navigating through each of your different website pages and customize each of the different blocks and elements. Now, what you also want to do is connect analytics. You want to connect Google Analytics as well as the Google Search Console. This is going to allow you to understand the performance of your website. If you're interested in learning how to connect these vital free analytical tools with your website, then I will add the appropriate tutorials down below in the description. Also, the next thing that you want to do once you've gone live is start focusing on SEO, search engine optimization. You can do that by navigating over to posts and creating new posts on a regular basis. Creating posts is similar to creating a website page like I showed you earlier. You can add blocks from the left hand side and simply type and add your content here. By adding new and relevant content to your website on a regular basis, that's going to allow you to increase your presence on search engines like Google. Website visitors will search for specific terms and you ideally want your blog post to appear online. If you're interested in learning how to create and optimize blog posts using WordPress, as well as how to engage in SEO, search engine optimization, then I'll add my SEO tutorials down below in the description. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this WordPress tutorial for beginners. Again, like I mentioned, I will add all the appropriate resources and tutorials down below in the description which will help you get the most out of wordpress.com and help you grow your website long term and there we have it guys that is it for this all-in-one wordpress.com tutorial now if you have any questions about this tutorial make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end if you got value make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way i'll see you in the next video take care everyone